some breaking news this evening, and scientists are saying water could be more common on the moon than previously thought. The discovery could boost NASA's hopes for future lunar missions. Our science correspondent, Thomas Moore, joins me now. So, Thomas, all very exciting. What's the significance of the discovery for future exploration of the moon? So they want to find water on the moon for two reasons. One is that it might sustain a future base on the moon uh, with astronauts returning there in 2024, but also that water itself might be used to create a rocket fuel that could take uh, human beings further towards Mars and so on. So this is significant. They knew that there was moon in the shadows on the deep uh, shadows of the, the, uh, the polar uh, regions of the moon, but now it's on the sunny side. Not in great quantities, it has to be said. Uh, if you imagine a one meter by one meter by one meter cube, uh, you would get about a drinks can's worth of water out of it, and they're not sure how accessible it, it would actually be. But nevertheless, it, it raises an intriguing uh, series of questions. One is, how does the water get there? It's constantly replenished because the temperature on, on the sunny side of the moon is 120 degrees Celsius. Uh, so they think possibly that it's just meteorites which are raining down on the surface, bringing water from further out in space. Or it's possible that the solar wind in itself actually brings hydrogen, uh, which uh, then reacts with oxygen in the minerals of the rocks. And, and the two together then uh, create a, a chemical reaction. And that leads to the water, which is probably stored in micro beads inside the, the surface. So it does raise intriguing possibilities. Does this change the picture? No, I think it's going to be a lot easier to go to the ice at the poles and extract that. And that's what the astronauts in 2024 will be living on. OK, Thomas, thank you.